This is how to use a Google drawing to make a really simple matching game. So if you look at my example here, I've got some cards with pictures on that you can move around and I've got some answers that you can move around. It's got a background image and it's got a title. So you need to start in your drive and create a new Google drawing and that will give you a blank standard size Google drawing. If you need it any bigger or any wider you can just pull out the corner. First thing you need to do is put your boxes on. I used this um, shape tool here and the boxes I chose were the rounded rectangle. So I'm going to pull out a nice size rounded rectangle, fill it with white and I'm going to copy and paste that a few times to be my cards. So there's my questions, there's my answer cards. So I'm just going to make all my cards. Okay. So now I want to start putting images on my question cards. So on a Google image search, I found the one that I wanted. And all I have to do is grab hold of that and pull it. Pull it onto the tab where your drawing is. Your drawing will open and pull your image. Can you see it? You can see a ghost version of it. Pull your image onto your drawing and then let go. This will then upload your image to your drawing and you can resize it so that it fits onto your card. Now, can you see when I'm putting it on the card, Google Drawings gives you a nice red line so that you know that it's in the middle. Now, if I just leave it like that and I try and move the card, it'll leave the image behind. So what I need to do is hold the shift button down, make sure I've selected the card, click on the image so it selects both of them, and then go arrange and group. Now, when you move it around, it will move both the card and the image. The answer cards are even simpler. If I double click on the answer card, it gives me a flashing cursor where I can type my answer. And I can highlight that and put it in the middle. I can make it bigger. I can make it bold. I can change the font if I want to. Now the good thing about typing into the boxes is that it's part of the overall shape. So when I move it around, it's not going to go anywhere. I don't have to group it. So you need to do that with all of your cards. And then you're going to put a title on your page. So this is the T here, text box. I'm going to drag out a text box for my title. Type it in, Doctor Who Bad Guys Matching Game, and I can highlight it, I can make it bigger, I can make it bold, I can change the font. I want it in the middle of my box, and I want to pull the box out so that it's all in one line. Now I want this title in the middle of my page, so I'm going to move it until Google gives me that nice handy centre line there, so I know that my title is in the middle. Now I want a background for this because can you see the checkerboard pattern it means it's see-through. I've got two options I can either right click and choose background and I can give it a colour so I can choose any one of these colours or I can pull over an image. So I've got an image ready to go here and all you need to do is the same as before grab hold of it pull it over onto the tab pull it down to your drawing and drop it. Now on a Google drawing, the last thing that you did will always be on the top. So my background image is sitting on top of everything at the moment. So I'm going to go arrange, order, centre back. It will now put it behind everything and I can size it to fit my game. Now what I need to change is the title because 
black against dark, you can't see it, so I'm going to highlight it and make the background, um, the title colour, sorry, white, so that it stands out. So you need to put images on all of your cards, answers on all of your answers, and then you have a matching game ready to go, and you can share it with who it needs sharing with.